to understand uh, the material that you're doing. In other words, whatever your focus is, if it's trees or shrubbery or grasses on the prairie, to, be, to have a, a pretty good understanding of of the plant material itself, and what it feels like, and if there's an expression over right, right over here in the underbrush of life. Um, just to uh, be familiar with uh, the underbrush, the parts of life, the parts of this arboretum that are kind of in the shadows underneath everything. Be familiar with the canopies of the trees and, and have, a, have a knowledge of, of the natural world. Uh, and, and then your art will be much more creative because you have an understanding of it. There's an emotional attachment to it. So that's pretty much my, my whole philosophy right there, but uh, to be knowledgeable of, of what you're attempting to, to render. Uh, well, the process begins with, uh, with the sky. First of all, establishing the multiple horizon lines in a, in a landscape. Um, and if you look at this, this particular yeah, that's right. If you look at this photograph that I'm working from here, there's, there's a bunch of horizon lines, especially because this road goes off in the distance. There's horizon lines. You can actually see if you kind of squint at it, you can see these kind of lines that go across these grasses here. They represent some horizon lines. Um, or demarcations, I like to call them. Lines of, of, uh, of latitude in a horizon. And um, so always first determine where these lines cross in front of you. Start with the sky, background, the mid-ground, and then the foreground here. So on this particular landscape, we're starting to work on the, the, we're still working in the foreground here. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna kind of develop a, a line there and there. Now we can go back with this color here and begin to kind of cut in. See how we, we start to sharp, sharpen up the edges of those trees. It actually looks like something that is real. And, it, and by kind of sharpening that edge, that tree row edge right there, we can actually create the illusion that there's wind. It's, there's movement going on, and you can all, already see the movement from west to east. Probably more like southwest to northeast. You see it in the trees. You start to see it. And then we'll come down in here a little bit and do that, and then off, off in here. Again, we want to stay away from this in nature. It's not like a ruler where there's one, two, three, four, five inches and they're all s separated exactly. It's, it's a lot more random. So we're, we're creating a random concept here along this horizon line of little divots in that that show tops of trees. Now, something else we want to do is take, to kind of show that, that they're actual, um, you know, this is a big cottonwood tree right here. So we're gonna kinda, down here in the shadows, we're gonna create some branching that, that represents uh, some of the, we're gonna do this very light. And then now we can start to demarcate a little more down here in the, in the mid ground. And I'm gonna find a, uh, one of these nice colors from Australia, and I'm going to embellish this a little bit, but uh, let me just do this here. Because this is this is the kind of color that's in these shadows. Now, Rich, sometimes do you actually do the painting while you're sitting in your truck? Always. Pretty much always. You just days. sit in the always. pickup, unroll the window, yep, and the just... the gear shift knob is perfect for like a 10 degree angle from where I sit. Oh. It's perfect. 
just gonna do this right here. So what is, other than I saw you use a pencil type thing, you never use a brush. No, these are the brushes. I love that. These are the mm -hmm. brushes. Okay, so it's coming Total on. control over it. Mm -hmm. And then um, notice uh, how we're kind of blending, blending a few layers together. Kind of creating a defined edge in places. Easel. Yeah. No, I, I don't no, work with no the type of plain air setup. Just, just the. I have a this this table. Okay. And that's usually in the back of the truck. So I'll take that and. Uh, you don't yeah. hike too far from where you park. No, I'll, I'll be. No, I don't, and that's convenient. It's easy now. All right, so far. Uh, getting it like that. Now um, we will take. Um, I want to for sure get this roadway cut in here before we go any farther. We've done it up. So that roadway, what do you think as far as the color? Of it?